Welcome to a boy talent podcast on the boy people TV. I am your host Amanda April and I have with me one of AI's fastest growing artists with me this day. Hi, welcome to Boy People TV. Thank you very much. Okay, first, can we get to know you, your name, origin, educational background, relationship status, if any? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, my name is King Bernard, aka King of Girls. Mm. Currently, I'm a student of Fine and Apply That, so I'm an artist, artist. So I draw, I paint, and some other things too. Um, for now, I'm single. Single? And I'm sorry. <laughs> So where are we from? What's your real name? Like, I think lots of our viewers want to know your real name, not the king of girls. Okay. Um, my, uh, my name is not far away from my name. My name, actually, my stage name is not far away from my name. Okay. Um, Emetsu Bernard Onyena Tsuruchi. Wow, the problem now is the, that evil name, Onyena Tsuruchi. I thought the name. I, I was expecting you to see it. <laughs> The main term, I love it. I actually did not actually find the name funny quite well, you know. But <laughs> well, it's a very unique name. I don't think say that. it's not it's not popular. It's not but it's a very unique name. I think I love it. I'll I'll give one of my kids Onyena Atorochi. That's a very beautiful Igbo name. I know my mom watching this guy, she'd be like, Wow. <laughs> Could I see your man? Could I see your mom? Could those man like I love her movie? <laughs> Again from Abia State. Wow. Half yeah. In the kind of half year, year state. Wow, interesting. Mm. Okay, so um, what inspired you to start making music? Okay, um, first of all, a lot of artists out there will always be like, um, I started singing when I was in the choir, <laughs> yes, and all that. I knew a lot of people. Yeah, so it's typical of Nigerian musicians. Podcast, but while I was growing up, I actually didn't see myself becoming an artist. Yes, the voice was there. Yes, I was singing, but that no, was not just it. So I was not in the picture. I, I wanted to be an accountant because back then, my mom, my dad, after getting their salary, they're like, um, the last picture of the house, I have told, count the money for us. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I'm counting money. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was happy. I was doing that. But the long way, I was like, this is boring. <laughs> Boy, the child's doing it, it's not yours. Was boring at some point, so yeah, it is. I think it is. Yeah, I so agree. I I love journalism, okay, because I'm a stubborn person, very stubborn. <laughs> I love journalism, though. My dad warned me against it because he knew how stubborn I was. He was like, Saben, call me Saben, Saben, don't do this because I know you are this kind of person. Like, you say you want to do this, you do that. Mm -hmm. So, you don't get that like, journalism was going to be like. And gone by the left hand and the paper. paper, paper. <laughs> so Michelle, will be anywhere you want to, as we to do it. And at the long run, my father was telling like, okay, don't do this. I was like, mm. okay, I'm drawing myself back. And then I'm doing music today and doing art because my dad was an artist. Oh, wow. He, he loved the music too. Okay. And I think for, for some reasons, he didn't really further any of them. Yeah. Okay, he stopped um, practice in 2010 oh. um, for some reason, his family issues are old. So everything I'm doing today is connected to my dad. He like living his dreams. Yeah, I'm living. For instance, one of my songs, um, The Death of the Dead, and I sang for him. Oh. Well, I said, I'm a He's Jew. late? And yes. Oh. Sorry for him. He's late. <laughs> Except <laughs> me both. What? I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I sang for him and I said, I'm a dream of a man in his grave. Mm. Particularly, I I enjoy doing these things unconsciously. Yeah. Just to myself enjoying doing that. Not because I think I was meant for it. Mm. Why growing up, I actually didn't see myself doing these things. But yeah. now doing it, I'm, I'm, I see myself, I'm enjoying it. But every other office work wait, that calls my way, I'm like, oh, no, nah, that's not for you, it's not for you. The <laughs> boy is too strict. Mm. So, um, First of all, I started doing music. I started thinking about doing music in 2020, 2019 to 20. Well, um, I was doing cover songs with my senior brothers, particularly our first son. Okay. Okay. Um, we were into imagine blues together. So we did that with no instruments, just a cappella. A cappella. And at some point I was like, why sing people's songs while I can actually make my Make your own music. So it was, a, it was a, like doing something you've not done before. So I had mm -hmm. to like go about it my own way. Yeah. 
So first of all, I had to go into the social media, I watched people do things. That was when Naramali was back to back, releasing the leg work down steps. So luckily for me, I could dance. So uh, I used my dancing skills to an extent to gather a lot of followers well, to follow mm -hmm. myself. And boom, I switched it ace up. Like, wow. Okay, I'm not I'm not a dancer, I'm an artist. They're like, mm -hmm. you sing too? Yeah, I'm like, okay. And then luckily for me again, someone inspired the song and then I did it and we got the phrase and Wow. That's interesting, very interesting to story. And doing music. Whoa. So we're living with daddy's legacies. Mm, yes. Yeah. That one is still alive. <laughs> So, um, please, can you walk us through your creative process when you're writing songs? Okay, um, particularly for me, my my songs are all gotten from true life experiences. Mm. Um, they are all inspired by something that happened directly to me or oh. around me. Wow. Um, my first song was because it was inspired by someone very special to me, my my lover, and okay. I wrote it for her. In ten days after we started dating, so. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I want you to a lot of still <laughs> as a love one. Yeah. As a trust. So going down, I sang another one, sang another one. Mm -hmm. We're all connected to her. Let the person be actually know but they are all connected to her. First song was Like the Rain. Mm. Second was Tell Me No. And the third one was Lonely Road after we broke up. Oh, okay. I think so. Going down, down or forth, down or forth, it's all connected to my true life experiences. So while I write, I try to look at things that have happened to me mm. and with the beats. And then, very, very important, I look at what people are expecting from me. Mm. And I get to spice it up a little bit and make it look as if what I really want to do. Because most times we do what people really want you to do out there. It will stress your life. Uh yeah, and it's draining. Yeah. So they will stretch your life. So do this thing the way it goes suits you. Yeah. I I did I did those songs suiting myself, mm. suiting my my myself. Okay. No, now um, a lot of persons we actually have like the rain as their best songs mm -hmm. since I've started singing because it was actually my first song and then it was slow and all that. Well, I still see Lonely Road as one of my best songs. I think it's one of my best songs too. You didn't really go out there. A lot of person yeah. to listen to it, but I love it because it was just me and my parent and the my, story behind yeah, you come behind really it. to it. Yeah, it. Oh, so how would you describe the music that you make or create? Is it love song? What kind of song do you do? Just like I said, I do love songs particularly, mm. or not entirely love because I try to say things in my songs. Oh, okay. we stick for rains and later to the dead. Um, I lost my dad on, on the 30th day of June 2022. Wow. And in 2023, I decided to attribute my first songs to him, mm -hmm. which was later to the dead. I released on our best day. He's my birthday mate. Wow. So I released on the 25th of February. Okay, now I see connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, great. Jimmy. When I was writing that song, I... Okay, during his burial, I was the only one that had access to use my phones to video. Mm -hmm. I was not crying. Every other person we are into the whole burial. Yeah. Just the things, the emotions and all. I was only the one with the camera and I was videoing and all that. So, I was watching a video of I made from my phone. Mm -hmm. I, I saw a video where the sister was praising him while they were bringing in his coffin to mm -hmm. the compound. They were actually praising him, praising him. So I was like, okay, let's use it as an intro to the song. Yeah. Okay, I used it as an intro to the song. And I wanted to tell my dad that even without him being around, I... He still lives on. He still lives on. And at the same time, he left a lot of things for me to do. Yeah. I was going to achieve that. Mm. He left his name without pushing it. I was going to push his name regardless. Kings mm -hmm. Bernard, I'm actually answering Kings. Kings is his name, so Kingsley. Oh. So that's what I'm doing. Mm. Pushing his name, pushing myself. Mm. That's an interesting story. So let's talk about entertainment in Abakaliki. Okay. <laughs> How oh, will you describe entertainment in Abakaliki? How has it helped you? Is it encouraging? Do you think artists in Abakaliki they get the kind of recognition the um they require or they deserve? 
Um, first of all, I'll, I'll start with a Bakali key, a born state, is a growing state. Mm. At the same time, every other thing inside and around it, it's growing together with it. Okay. Now, um, when I was doing, when I started doing music, I I didn't need it for people around a Bakali key. Well, I felt, okay, there are a lot of persons here, but I think the best are not inside here. Mm. Let's do something different. Yeah. Okay. And that was actually what took me to go into Enugu looking for Dr. Freeze. Okay. He was a, yeah. And he had to come down to a boy state to record me. And coming down to entertainment, we see a lot of content creators, skit makers, mm. artists, comedians, and hype men, DJs, and all that. And I think uh, currently in Abakaliki, people that are taking over the industry are uh, content creators. Yeah. Comedians, MCs, and hype men and DJs. Yeah. Leaving artists behind. Now, not like we don't have artists pushing up their talents and everything mm-hmm. up there, but I think um, it's a different world for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different world for us. It gets, our life is like a snail, but when it picks up, it picks up. Mm, okay. It takes your kind of craft, it takes your your consistency, your persistence, um, your style and everything to get you up there. Mm. Now, entertainment in the boy state is a snail. I always call it a snail because everybody wants to get up there without doing it the right way. I don't think they're doing it the right way. Mm. They are all after the money. Okay. Okay. Now, money is very important because we see with the final money with the final because we got job. But all the same, I think if you really are so good at this, you don't need to actually stress yourself to get yeah. this money. Yeah. But it's just coming like people go spray you, people go appreciate you. When you put up a flyer out there, okay, I want to host this show. A lot of persons are actually out there trying to sponsor or trying to partner with you. Why? Because you know the level of crowd you can pull with your influence. And I think it has to do with passion. Because yes, when you want yes. passion for something, it shows. The way you, it makes it easier for you to navigate through whatever mm. it is you're doing. You know, I think another thing happening currently in Abakaliki is a lot of persons are doing this thing because they see people do events and then they cash out. They be like, okay, if this person can do this thing, like, I can go and fool me to all of the persons. I'm like, okay, I can go. Mr. A, Mr. B, mm. who sponsor a big, my ogre, you get family roots, man, you just stay where yeah. sponsor my events. The person go pay, oh, pay you and then mm. call people to what, two or three, two or three are gathered and then he does mm-hmm. things and then he messes it up and does it the wrong way. Uh, giving people the notion that we're not growing. Mm-hmm. So at the same time, I think everybody entertainment is growing to an extent. Um, special thanks to people like um, Sawan and Juan. MC Walter, Captain, Ken Clever, myself, very, very important. Yes. <laughs> the level of kind of music is not going to be growing in the boys. Mm-hmm. I think they're really wanting the kind of thing I do here. Wow. Yeah. So that's interesting. A boy state, it's growing, but I think a lot of persons are supposed to sit down before mm-hmm. they put up an event out there, before they put up the content out there. Oh, okay. I forgot to that to funny sense. It's just one content creator that's cracks me up. Mm. I get to watch his content. I'm like, okay, this is out of a bunch. Yeah, it's standard. Not, it's not a bunch state. Mm. Um, people like Luna Graham is an artist. I'm like, okay, this is not a bunch. This is mm. not standard. Mm. This is you are actually going far. I'm like, okay, that's perfect. Um, actually, when I go online, I don't think no a bunny, a bunny in the dealer, she got me to go online. Oh, okay. of them. Wow. <laughs> that's from people like Luna. Okay. Right. Apart from him, I don't think no other person triggers me to go online. Maybe because I actually see that actually they're not doing their best. Mm-hmm. But I think the standard yeah. where I want to mm-hmm. for where I want to actually see myself in the next five to six years, I want to see myself as hope to arena. Mm-hmm. So I look at people like I do my style, my kind of thing. Yeah. Victory, Magics, Bonner Boy, Ashake. Mm-hmm. I get to look at you I'm like, okay. This is actually how you do it. Can I do a low budget and out of what you just did? Oh. I don't yeah. have this kind of money you have, but I I'll have, create I something create that looks similar to that. Yeah. And more interesting, probably, because mm-hmm. most of this is not even interesting. It's what's 
is because of the parasitic yeah. form with yeah. So that's it. So a boy's into a growing, but so next I think we should just speed it up and then we should do it the wrong way. We're doing the wrong way all together. Mm-hmm. Just, just carry cameras and then you click the job in <laughs> social media because you have data on your phone. Uh, yeah. I want to ask you a very, very uh, tricky question yeah. or very sensitive one. Uh, you're not an Ebonian. Okay. So do you think not being an Ebonian has affected your career in a boy? Have no. you ever felt like you maybe go for any show and then you were um, treated somehow mm-hmm. or beat others because you're not from a boy or anything? Have okay. you ever experienced that? No, 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 I don't think I I grew up in a boy state. So okay. particularly, I tell people most of them from a boy state. Cause mm-hmm. I speak, I speak yeah. their dialects to an extent. Oh. Um, so I've never really experienced such. Look, if I do, are very peaceful. Yes, we are. Yeah, very peaceful. <laughs> So, how do you balance your personal life, education, and your music career demand needs? Uh, this is very, very, very stressful. <laughs> very. I can't ring you. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm a student, mm-hmm. and at the same time, I'm the last child of my family, mm-hmm. and, and then I'm an artist. Now, being the last child of your family, I don't know how people do it, but I think they, they have targets of killing their last children. So um, I can be in my school and then my sister calls me, hi, Afa, come and cook for you. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, okay, now, it's not our fault that we're the elder sisters. Okay, what the we, fuck? You, you, you guys, the, the, you last bonds actually stressed us while growing up. So when you have the opportunity to do the same, we, we, we actually embrace it with people. Okay. <laughs> I, I actually did not spend a single weekend to my mother left in school. Right. I didn't spend a single weekend in school. Okay. I traveled back to Abakaliki. Why? To go and walk. Like, this is, you, you're probably seeing on the transportation every weekend. You have to end what they, they actually were not smooth. They were like, okay, come back. You fetch water, you take care of the kids. You have to earn your pay. They are giving you money, so there's not. No hard thing. It's, it's, it's not about the money. Keep their money, please. <laughs> They're stressing me. Okay, back to being a student. Um, I studied fell and applied that, and that's like um, a different level of stress on its own. Mm. Getting to learn things like um, sculptural, painting, um, textile, mm. ceramics, drawing, portrait making, and all that. Fashion, through the extent, um, craft making, African craft making, and all that. So, and it's energy, dry, now and still slapping. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, mm. because I buy clay <laughs> to mold. And I'm like, clay is everywhere, but it tell me that's not the kind of clay we're, we're, we're going to be using. <laughs> I have to buy clay to actually do a different work. So I can actually be in the studio and I actually don't know the time it's evening. Because mm-hmm. I've been working since morning. Yes, we clay and all that. Most times I go to school. A lot of persons are going to write their exams with pen and paper. Is that your with, carrying? I'm carrying life. I should be right in exam. So go on. So it's quite stressful combining um, personal life, being an artist, and then being a music it's artist. Yeah. Being a music artist is another sapient thing. Okay. Yeah. For instance, got it will confirm me for like three events in one weekend. Okay, last night I was at, at, at an event in school, and I'm here now. This evening, I actually have an event, another event. On Sunday, I have another event. Okay. I'm like, I have a shoot at AI tomorrow too. So, this is odd things you get to meet up with. So, much, uh, get to the top. And I think to an extent, your yeah, time usually gets blown and then you drop some things yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. So, do you have a project at hand? Like a new song you're working on or a new song you're about to release? And um, if yes, What's the title of the song and what's the story behind it? Okay, um, currently I have um, five stories out there in a song. I just released an EP oh. um, on the 12th day of August. August. Wow, um, go on, nations. Yeah, it's titled Love, Pain and Tears. Um, I call them five stories and five tracks because um, they are all, they have stories behind it, like the rain. Okay, I was trying to actually promote most of my old songs. Mm. Um, like, like the rain was for my my ex, Lonely Road, my ex, Letter to the Dead, my father. Um, I had two new songs 
in the truck, in the EP, um, when mm. um, a lot of persons were like, okay, this is a different thing you're totally pushing out there. Mm. I did a rap song. Wow. And a lot of <laughs> persons were like, this is first time against Bernard is in. And I think I was performing for the first time this night. Wow. Um, I did a rap song with Cybers, that's his name. He's an artist, uh, a very good, talented artist. Um, when was targeted at Accent God, what's up? When is my time? Mm. Yes, when is the do time? When is the money time? When is the good time? Mm. When am I find that my to see the out there and oh, inspired by someone. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine. Um, he's a G with the prayer. So most times when I'm like, okay, Alpha bro, my song is coming out. I need sponsor, I need a sponsor, I need something, somebody for to work out to financial. Mm -hmm. He told us like you know they like move body based on say you feel like say, okay. I'm pressing. You're supposed to be doing the same thing. Ooh, yeah. So you make me look like yeah. me. I don't match any it's, other plans and whole. So I'm like, okay, it's your money, the props. So I felt you did this to me. Yeah. So that's what inspired the that's song when. 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 Mm. So okay. I've been literally putting out work, creativity, good music, good energy, mm. and swagger, and. I expect God to totally answer. When? Mm. No. So, no. No. <laughs> Voice of the Lord. When? So, um, the last song <clears throat> in the EP was titled Sweet Love. Um, Sweet Love is, was not actually dedicated to anybody, but it was trying to praise a lady, a woman, any woman in your life mm. that you're so close to, be your mother, be your girlfriend, your wife, um, the person may actually be close to you at the moment, may be dead, may be divorced, but try to remember sweet memories of the person and then try to praise the person. Because no matter how bad the person be, that's sweet good attributes of the person. Yeah, true. Your wife, he gets bad character. She feeds the nun, but she get big get, You get ready to give you a yeah, chat you from yeah, there, the first place. I think um, sweet love. Mm. She gave you sweet love. She gave you sweet love. That's so, uh, so, sweet love is more like an appreciation yeah. or song for women out there. Oh. On yeah, okay. So um, I was supposed to do um, I was supposed to add more tracks to Love Pin and Tears, but at the same time I was like, okay, make this one more fair. Mm -hmm. So I have um, more songs. Okay. Um, we plan to release them by December. Oh. Um, I have two songs, two song EP. Mm -hmm. um, First one is to Jelly Jellof, and the second one, Anita. Anita was featured um, by Boy Nova. Mm. And this song's out, out already in my phone, in my device. Yeah. Waiting for the set state. Yeah. <laughs> so people should look out for love, pain, and tears. Yes, and hey, yeah. Look out. I'd speak for it. So um, how do you connect with your audience on or off stage, do you have? Do you think you have that connection with your audience, your followers, your fans? Okay. Yeah. I actually have a song titled "King of Girls." Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't do "King of Girls" because I, I was lacking love songs. Look, mm -hmm. and the person were like, "Okay." I kept releasing slow songs, slow songs, slow songs, and then my guys that knew I was dancing before they were like, "Okay, Afar Kings, do a song." Want to dance to you your dance hall? Who wants? And I'm a piano vibe kind of song. Mm -hmm. Now, the demand was much, so something came to my mind. Which title you will give your song? Maybe say, the scene here and the scene. You know, while listening to Ram for what? <laughs> and so I came up with King of Girls, and then I did the first promotion for King of Girls, and something happened. In my family, my oh. my first daughter lost. A husband, so oh. I dropped King of Girls promotions. Oh, so I didn't do music for like eight months. Oh, oh I was promoting the needs, promoting the song King of Girls Beneath. The, the track was ready, everything was ready, but I wasn't ready. So down to the day King of Girls dropped. Oh. Now, the idea of King of Girls was. If I come up on stage, I tell you my name is King Smellard, a.k.a. King of Girls. You're like, what the fuck is this person going to present? <laughs> and 
Me get you a I suddenly walk on the road, and a lot of persons are like, What's your name? I'm like, I'm King of Girls. And like, if suddenly girls will be like, See, they feel they like you so more. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, this is now all self breath. That's it for me and all that. So. Yeah. Though, I love stage performance too. Mm. I think I enjoy stage performance as much as I do enjoy recording. Mm. I enjoy stage performance more. Why? Because I feel. You connect with That's the only piece I get to show my creativity more. Okay. No, I don't just sing on stage. I perform on stage. I create on stage. Mm. And it's not been up to two years exactly. I came into school, AE Funai. But I think currently I'm one of the biggest artists in Funai. Mm. Not because I have the best songs. Yes, but I have the best songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are the best yes. songs. You... Well, I think because I've given them a reason to want to watch me on stage. Yeah. No, I think when I'm going on stage, I see a lot of persons shouting, King of Gans, Gamochi, yeah. yeah. and all that. Girls screaming and everything. He's going, he's going, that's the one, he's the one. I've been telling you about him. And it's mind brain I'm like, okay, I don't have to disappoint these people. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so every day I get to think, you confirm me, you know what I'm They confirm my brain, so <laughs> I get to think, mm. it's concept I'm not going to use this time around. That is different from what you've what been I'm doing. doing. I've done well, the performance on stage where I had to bring um, my art props to stage where I brought a canvas and a stretcher on stage. Mm. I was acting like I was drawing the girl. The girl was over there. I was performing and I was kind of doing that. And I had no role. I had to stage. Yeah. So, at some point in the performance, I took the girl to a big center to come around me, tip on my laps. That little kid was shouting, that's not now, that's great. Yeah. And it's it, 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 it is what it is. So, most times I get some good deals on stage that a lot of cases haven't seen before. I've seen a shake, a video, all that work for us, you know, like, okay, this is way out of it. People are mm. not woman beings. Yeah. At the same time, I always tell people, give me the same money Bona Boy has. And uh, you create been, I beat him to the stage performance. Mm. I'm not, I'm not capping right now. <laughs> I'm beating to it. Yeah, that's it. So connecting to my fans on stage is very, very simple to me. Mm. But I think I study people. Okay. I'm, not, I'm very sensitive. So, um, mm. I've been in an, at an event and then a friend of mine, he's an artist. He did the kind of thing I wanted to do on stage. It's at mm. the same time, like. After him was supposed to be me. Yeah. And he went to the crowd, picked the girl, brought her to stage, danced with her, took her back. Gentleman kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like taking your, 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 your plans out of the bread and then meaning you strong and everyone. See, why he started doing that, I was already with my phone. I'm chatting the DJ upstage. Mm. DJ was my friend, so like, okay, I'm not doing this song again, I'm doing this work. Mm -hmm. Sabe, you have it. Same when they got essences to him, ASAP. So, and then I was already thinking, what am I going to do to make these people get, yeah. get a to wow the stage. audience? So, and luckily, I got something. I walked up a stage, and then a lot of persons who actually want their artists to face them to perform it. Boom. But I knocked them through on the performance. <laughs> Neither the song, That's I fake. I knocked them through the performance. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of it, I go, can listen to when I'm King Spade that I just like. I don't know. Wondering what's about me? Well, the best way I that's cool. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. So that's it. And I think to people online, it's a different ball game altogether. Mm -hmm. And connecting them offline is a different ball game altogether. Mm -hmm. It's easier to connect online because True. a lot of persons spend their time online. Yeah. But for instance, like, I have not seen David do before. Before I'm following him, it's like mm -hmm. oh, zero zero one for me. <laughs> and, well, when you do these things offline, you you are showing people that what you see online is the same thing as me. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, I've seen artists that have the whole auto tunes in their voice, and then and then they're performing the live, but you are like, what the world has to the very is unfair with <laughs> with <laughs> so that's so that's it. So performing on stage, showing the fans that same person you see 
All that the Marvel Spotify yeah. fight is to me. Yeah. So that's it. I think that's one thing. If an artist understands his or her audience mm. connecting with them, and I think being sensitive to come okay. to the job. Okay. If you're not sensitive, you don't know what to do or how mm. to connect with people. Okay. Um, I want to ask you another question. So who's your role model? I've heard you talk about one David over and over again. So who inspires you more when it comes to music, maybe in Nigeria, outside Nigeria? Okay, um, I'll be calling four names now. Okay. Currently, four names. Okay. Um, but if you leave me, um, I'll just pick up one name and then... Okay, the... I think we should call one name. <laughs> I can't call just one name because... Okay, fine. Yeah, because Let's... I actually have everything like one. Let's just say a name for the four. <laughs> um, I love the video. Okay. Because it's the life of the industry. Mm. You've seen the music, the energy, the, the best videos I've seen. Yes, yeah, so far. I watched the videos and I'm like, okay, this is in which he's singing his song in his song, oh. in his music video. Mm-hmm. And but when it comes to music that I listen to, mm-hmm. I can stay who you without listening to the videos music. Okay. Not because she does not have the songs I get to mm-hmm. listen to. He's like, oh, I know his lyrics line by line. Mm-hmm. Without even listening to them, but I go with Victory mm-hmm. and I go with Magics. Then when it comes to stage performances, I look so much up to Bonner Boy. Nah. Now, if you leave me, I want to be like David O, Bonner Boy, and Whiskey. Make yeah. a one. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> this performance, leave it for David, leave it for Bonner Boy. The boy. The quiet, um, quiet person, I'm very reserved. I don't like mm. it. But then, dropping the green one, oh, our Whiskey. whiskey. Then when like it comes to Noisemaker, I see the Noisemaker, I can give it for David O. I love David O, but he's actually himself. Mm, yeah, yeah, there's no oh. from me that's pretending at all. Yeah. That's David O. I love David O, regardless. Mm. Okay, nice. Right. That's nice. So, how do you handle challenges and setbacks in your music career? Criticism. I know they do it a lot in the city. You might drop a song. One person is saying this is the bomb, and the other person is saying, "Ah, what are they doing? This guy should put some music. Where is he going? Where I'll see that this thing is not your calling." And uh, so, how do you handle situations like this? Okay. Um. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be actually answering that question with two stories now. <laughs> Let me relax one <laughs> it is um my my ring mm. was sold before the EP currently. Mm. Um today I believe my ring. So quoted me yo. And that was the first time that person was chatting me yo. You know why I mean the person had the best. <laughs> it was like wrong, you to mention so like ever. Mm. The rubbish you signed. I thought I was like, what the fuck is this? It's just an early morning now. But then it would have been And it's always the words that we've gotten about him. It was a plenty of anything. And then the person is like, I come here with your saying. The, the only way I remember it. I'm like, how many times have you heard Victoria's voice? What, what is the way to? Man, I'm getting the right singing. So I got I, I respond, I actually responded to him. He said, I was like, please, Alpha. If you don't actually understand what I'm saying, then please, I, I know a lot of places you have called us, but tell you understand this, then please help me share with my link with <laughs> your WhatsApp status. They're like, okay, that's, that's the best way to respond. Well, yeah. so, I think you don't get to like me. Everybody will get to like me. So if you don't like me, that's your business. Right. And I think you handled it uh, diplomatically because yeah. that so that someone is not your fan today doesn't mean the person won't be tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe the person is actually your fan, but this particular song, it's, it's not just it for him. And yeah. he's not feeling with it. He's like, she be that this better one will he see. I've been another person I sing this song. That we still have to that this is not you. I didn't know, okay. Uh, I have two brothers and then mm-hmm. when I release my songs, I send them to them, they're like, yeah, they're stopping me, don't do that again. Like, what the fuck? Why are you sending these things to us? <laughs> wow. Well, they actually listen to these songs. Yeah. Family will love the family. <laughs> but the banter and all siblings uh, banter, uh, it's so. My ring was out there. A lot of cases were listening to it. I got my small, small self. I got one case streams within five days. Wow. For my ring. That's here. And, and that's the first time I started paying me. So I think that's one of my best songs too. Mm. Also. Uh, that's the same song that brought people to your DMs. <laughs> so. And I got paid for just to perform my ring. Mm. And I didn't perform it to the people. were like, why didn't you perform it? Like, okay, I had my rings, why didn't perform my ring? Okay, that's why. So, to an extent that my senior brother finally chatted me, I was like, okay, nah, nah, they even hear what he talked on this song. Go, hey, it's all literally good. We are sounding like Miss Kit. I'm like, okay, I've been sending this song to you. Like, 
I didn't read that. I didn't like. Didn't buy all this for this song. And you didn't say anything about. You said it in Why now? I think this sibling, this sibling, our fight and banter is everywhere. It's just everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. Um. Second story was um. I've been, I've been somewhere. Mm. It's all walked up to me. I was like, Are you Bernard? I said, okay, I'm King's Man. I said, you just saw my, you just saw my post. And then a few minutes ago, you saw people, girls walking, and then they were talking about me. And no other person for school, they answered King of Girls. It was just me. So often, what did he say? He said that, see, Nami, the only carry girl perform for stage. I'm like, yes, that's me. I'm very one of those in the world. And then he was like, that they say, I they use Thai. They knock the girls with I need oh, okay. stage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or like what that's perfect. That means I don't need blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's how you always respond to <laughs> Because I don't need blue now. Like, mm. I don't know you. I don't know the girls. Like, yeah, that, I mean my absence. That mm. I, I don't need that means you're making uh, everything you doing that. Yeah. yeah. But I the right way or the wrong way. Mm. I'm a person that's seeing the right way too. Because I've seen I'm only was in school where people mention my name without me even being there. Yeah, this time I was not in bad way though. They're like, mm-hmm. okay, King's Benard is definitely topping the charts now, man. That was still so. I'd be like, okay, that's nice. Mm, tip, tip, bring, mm-hmm. bring it down, bring it Lighting, down. Like, I get clear conscience. Yeah, and when I'm doing things with people professionally, I get, I avoid special relationships or making it personal. Yes, yeah. so um, you stay your way, I stay, yeah, in. and I try as much as possible not get so entangled with you. So after the first on stage. That's the free free go and that. Okay, it's good. I tell you what I mean. Yeah. Stop. And then like, you don't get to sleep in my house or mm-hmm. whatever room I'm actually in. So mm-hmm. when I'm actually taking an event, taking up an event and I'm supposed to call with the vixen, I try it's just possible to to make, make it a rule professional. for her. Yeah. professional. Get clothes for her. So you don't get to insult me to so learn of yeah. Very important was everybody could dig their lane. Mm-hmm. That kind of stuff. So that's it. When people talk about me, both good, both bad, I enjoy this. Because I feel, okay, I'm getting to the top. Oh, yeah. I've seen people talk about the widow's voice. And then the widow will see, man, do cherry. He will see shouting, shouting. That's a clown, dude. Like, that's the kind of person I want. Yeah. You're talking about me. I'm doing the next thing, the next minute. I, I think if you want to make impact, see, listening to people is the fastest way to kill yourself and your goods so you just get to listen to it and be diplomatic about whatever oh, it's being said no jokes it's, it's only hurts it hurts yeah because we are women and have feelings <laughs> definitely <laughs> where some things you hear about yourself and you're wondering is, is there some men answering my brother is there no carrying my brother when I see when he's taking my brother to do all those uh, tr- commit all these atrocities and all and you're wondering is it, is it me I believe there's another me somewhere when you being the draw or the double life and or in actually not because you are human and you have feelings so I get to castigate myself. I know how many sleepless nights are and money and all. And the world to the soul. And then you know, yeah. it's trash. It's, it's crazy. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I think it's, it's crazy. Cool. It actually gets good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all of those same reasons. Really. Mm, true. True. Do you know what uh, David Doe and the Mez pass through at Dominic Day's way? It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so, um, have you ever had a moment when a fan's reaction to your music deeply impacted you? Okay, um, recently. Recently? Yeah, recently. You yeah, know, that was like last week Friday. Last week's Friday. Last week's Friday. I was performed at AI at New Heaven in terms. Yeah. Oh, man. And can I perform on stage? It's always girls. Always yeah. girls. You're, you're the strong really? girls. <gasps> you're the strong girls. Boy, all dressed, the old boy invited. He stood up. Wow. And you're wondering, like, what am I doing? Ah, oh, the streets mean. <laughs> and you're not just that, you're true only. Like, like, that's the most important thing. That's the most part. That's that way in the part is the most important thing. Yeah. And we lost play it because if it's play at the feet, call him my one. Mm-hmm. So he just suddenly, like, threw the ball into one. I actually came down to one. <laughs> that's why I got to. So I think that's, like, one of the most touching parts of it. Yeah. Because, no, like, I played all three special. Because mm. hardly have I gone to an event and I don't get girls. Wanting to so you're yeah, used that. to that stage. Used to that. Stage. Yeah. Well, this time I was with a guy and then I'm like, okay, that's perfect. It actually made me want to do a different thing. There's an event coming up on the 6th of 
of September. Mm. You know, a friend of mine, my boss, I call him um, a boss because he actually, to an extent, have put me through in the entertainment industry. It was made for thoughts. And I want to do a different thing there. I want to perform what I perform in. I want to look at my crowd intensively. The reaction that gets me so emotional, I want to call her on stage or him on stage, remove my sneakers mm. and get it out to the person. Oh, that's so, nice. So that's what I actually have in mind. But I can actually increase it. Yeah. Yeah. Never can tell. So that's it. So what advice would you give to an aspiring musician looking to break through in the industry? Or what advice would you give to your, to the younger you? Like, let's say, let's go back to two, two, three, four years ago when you started music. What advice would you give that you now with all the experiences you've had? Um, first of all, Avoid, avoid procrastination. If you want to do this, do this. Mm. Let's say I want to do it. Okay. I know one, it's very, very hard to come by this, this, and this. No. Getting sessions are all, all hard to so mm. But what makes you an artist is your level of creativity. Okay, I can create music. Mm. Get to learn to create relationships to people. Mm. That is a lot of producers out there mm. that are ready to actually record your songs for free because you are actually good. We yeah. were. So I think go out, look for these people. You don't even need to tell them you're an artist first of all. Mm. Create a relationship first of all. Yeah. Now a relationship will not just be this producer, a lot of entertainers out there. Mm. Every useless person that climbs that stage is a boss. Yes. Yes. I actually tell people that any stupid person that climbs that stage is a boss. It's not easy to climb the stage because I've been confirmed for an event back to 2003, to and I was so happy. That was my first confirmation. I was so mm-hmm. happy. I I lodged in the hotel, brought my friend, bought the table, and I did not perform. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Okay>. one <laughs> If I were to be me. Then mm. now, uh, you that like you go pay the hotel. True, sure. because you know your work. Yeah, like you will bring out them. So. But then it was as if you were trying to put yourself out there. Yeah, and then anything that comes, so far they are giving you an opportunity yeah. to showcase yourself. You just want to foot the bills. Believe me, I've been there. So I think, think if you're starting music, mm. add value to yourself too. Yeah, I'm not saying you should be proud, but value is very important. The way you keep yourself, the way you see yourself, that's mm-hmm. the way people will see you. Yeah. I started going for events in Funai. I always come for events with face marks. Now, mm. a friend of mine always asks me, why are you doing this? I'm like, okay, you're not supposed to see my face. <laughs> an artist. You're supposed mm. to only see me while I'm on stage. And then when I'm done, and I'll come out and make this CD piece with, look at that scene, that's a little font. That's like, okay. They're like, the reserve world, when you call, they're like, who's this person that is this reserve? I'll see you on the stage before you like, or you show yourself. yourself yeah. So, add value to yourself. Stop procrastinating. Mm. Sit down. Learn from other people, other people that have been in this industry. Mm. Don't just get get the pen and the paper, write the song, go to the studio, record the song, push it online, and then you expect people to do stream it. Godfather was a very, very, very important. Okay. For instance, um, I've gotten um people like Remino tell me to send my links of my song to of King of Girls. He's like, okay, I like the song. Send the link to me. Send the I want to post it. Mm. That's because whenever I'm around him, he's an artist, he's a man like me. And each bracket will naturally not be sold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is a boss. Started this thing before me. Yes. And everything, anybody that started this thing before me. He's your boss. I respect them a lot. Because they must have experience already. Yeah. So get Godfather. Not necessarily really somebody that actually gives you songs to mm. him or writes your song. Or even listen to your song before you release. It's just somebody that you get to look up to, you get to tell things, okay, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do. Should I do it this way or not? So I've mentioned three things now. Don't procrastinate. Mm-hmm. And you got for that, add value to yourself. And anything worth doing is worth doing, like not saying rubbish. Okay. Yeah. Not saying rubbish. Mm-hmm. That, if, if you like, that thing should be pleasing to your ear, okay, I'm not like saying, okay, most rubbish are actually going to blow you. One man's rubbish. Yeah, on that man's most rubbish are going to treasure. There are some things that... The same way I see myself, 
the same. Okay, I was supposed to be at an event, two events yesterday, when he started falling in school. And because I actually wanted to wear his, a palazzo, mm-hmm. kind of fella kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if he could offer this rain. He will drop like this. <laughs> yeah, he will be this close now. And then he could be wet, mm-hmm. and then he could be rich for ground. Because I was like, okay, I'm not going anywhere again. Mm-hmm. Tell him, okay, I can't come out. It's raining. Yeah. Because like, before in the afternoon, I was going to tell him, how far? It's, it's it's your event. Try to do something. It's that you move the venue, time still being out, or you hold this rain anyhow and I want one. But I think they were like, thank God. God don't wind them now. We're funny. So <laughs> I didn't go for the event. Yeah. Why? I went for the one before that. Because okay. the rain was not actually out then. So I think add value. Don't procrastinate. Don't sell rubbish. And then it is like, what doing is what, what doing is. well. Okay. So I think you all are a freestyle. This new EP, I bet, try drop smaller over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, because I really want to hear it before. Since people will hear it this night, we can hear it before those people too. Because I, I, love, I love good things. Okay. Um, are we doing sweet love? Okay. Okay. Um, it goes this way. Should we go and make out and make a move on? No, you got nobody so hard to move on. Joking love, I did see you for my dream. You'll be no man, it's no peace, you sell your tower. And now you can't but I upset your return. And now I feel bad, they will go give me more. And my window, I did beg, baby, a joke. And this will be you got me think quite in a do. You charming, so sexy, I'm craving skin stone in you, high me like holding that mango. No, darling. Well, sweet love, sweet love. Oh, now you can be with sweet love. Okay, I'm a new one. And now you can be with sweet love. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, with this voice and this song, you are saying what to stop for. Like, there's nobody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mommy, I don't think about that one. Like, you are seeing which is strip on like this with this sweet love. We don't want anybody to give you sweet love. I am telling most, you want us to receive sweet love. <laughs> Relationship very distraction. I don't have meds. Oh, okay. I don't have, I'm, I'm this kind of person, like, when I want to do something, mm. I am always immersed in sweets. I think if you want to date a girl, look how a person picking come off her family house. They ask her boyfriend. And then you know they treat them well. Um, I'm just a gentleman person that I think a, de- a girl deserves a date one or two times in a week. True. So preferably, I, I get, agree. I don't get to tell somebody, will you be my girlfriend? And then I, I don't skip you for that. I totally agree. Then you see, I get recording where I want to do my money. So preferably, I think. I agree. Oh, shift me, guys. Every two way you talk, this master, <laughs> I agree. Every girl deserves <laughs> to go on date twice or At the same time, it take us on dates too. Uh, I will deserve good things, hands. Uh, clothes, vacation. Yeah, yeah, the hair clothes is not part of It's not part. Bro, so that you aren't feeling the world, you know. Well, all the same, if you're actually taking a girl on a date, you actually have to send out what you want her to be dressed in. So, so that's it. Please, you guys should take notes. Send us dresses when you want to take us out. Thank you, you very much. If you don't have money, don't, don't do it if you don't have money. If you don't have money, don't go to bed according to your size. But I think if you really want to keep a, a girl, spend on her. She oh. deserves it. Please, when you want to take me out on the dates, send me what you want me to wear. I'll gladly yes, wear it. Because a lot of guys are like, when you wear a pull on it, just to, and then I'll see you complain that I get oh, But now, wait till I get now. now. So if you don't want me to wear it, get me something nice. So you're supposed to, like, okay, in the morning, okay, thank you. We're going out this night. And I sent you something, it's just open your door. She opens it and she see it on a box, and inside the box, she see the handbag, the wig. Or, my like kind of man. A girl, and then she's like, okay, it's nice. And then <laughs> you're like, okay, the invitation to where you're coming to, it's just inside the box. And that's like crazy. Well, that's the kind of person I am. So I think my lady deserves the best. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm actually still saying. Boom. So it's nice, like, talking with you. I really had fun. So if our uh, followers want to connect with you, uh, what's your handle on Twitter? Sorry, X. Instagram, Facebook, this X team, So, um, if 
our viewers or people out there actually want to follow you or yeah or your what's your handle okay um i made it very simple for everybody mm. it's a little big biggie you know that so my name is king's bernard king's space bernard on all them the king's is the number k-i-n-g-z k-v-n-g-z k-v-n-g-z bernard bernard on instagram on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube, and on in all the other platforms to Spotify, Audio Mac, yeah, mm. same link. So make sure you follow him on all his social media handle, and make sure you're following the One People's TV. Like, comment, share, and make sure you subscribe. Click on the notification bell too, so you get notified anytime we post videos like that. Thanks, See you guys next time. I'm still your host, Amanda April. Bye.